What's up guys? We had a very good day today. So if you remember from my last videos, I got assigned 100 shares of IWM at a strike price of $127 per share. So I, I got assigned those shares this coming weekend. And I made some videos over this weekend. And if you remember, I laid out a few scenarios for you. And honestly, the best possible scenario happened today. Over, our, over the weekend, after hours, and pre-market this morning, IWM was already trading above $127. In fact, in pre-market, it was already over $131 per share. So when I woke up this morning and checked the market, I already knew that I was gonna go ahead and just sell these shares straight out. There was no point in trying to sell a covered call and waiting till Friday. And maybe by Friday, IWM could dip below 127 and I keep the shares. There was no point in playing games. So I looked at the market and I actually looked at the price jump. I mean, look at this big spike. This is just this weekend of IWM. And my concern was, you know what? I need to sell this the moment the market opens because I know a lot of times when the market opens and stocks are going up pre-market, there will be a big sell-off. So what I didn't want to happen was, you know, 9, 9.30, 9.45, 10, IWM price just keeps going down and then I'm essentially losing profits. So I said, as soon as the market opens, I'm gonna put in a sell order and I'm gonna cash out. And that's exactly what I did. I cashed out at 131.45. So I own those shares at 127. So 131.45 minus 127 is four dollars and 45 cents of profit per share so times 100 shares i made 445 dollars in literally the first minute of market trading this morning fantastic now in hindsight i would have waited till the end of the day because as you can see iwm got up to even 133 above 133 so i left a few maybe a hundred dollars on the table but you know what you can't predict the future profits are profits you have to lock in those gains so I am super excited about IWM today. I mean, between today's gains of $445 and last week's premium on the cash secured put sold of $104, I made $445 plus $104. I made a total of $549 in essentially five days of trading and a minute of trading this morning. Now, I had $12,700 tied up in this whole kind of transaction, if you will. And so that is a total percent gain of 4.3% in basically a week. Fantastic, fantastic numbers. I'm super excited. I was in a great mood all day the moment I put that sell order in. So just to recap, I know I was looking at some of the other trades. I was saying I was probably gonna get to AMD at some point. But, you know, AMD started up high. It was in the green all day. The whole market was in the green all day. And it stayed in the green, stayed above $53, $54. And I was looking at the options premiums for cash secured puts. And they weren't all that great. They weren't as great as they usually are. And like I said, I wanted to get in around the $48, $49 strike price. And as you can see, the premiums were only, let's say, around $10 or less because it was so far out of the money. So I held off today. And same thing with space. The premiums weren't great. And the price of the stock actually went up this weekend as well. And it stayed in the green. I'll just take a quick look at space for you. So you can see it dipped a little bit, but overall it still ended the day in the green. So again, the options premiums were not that great. Um, so I just held off because when the whole market is green like today, if you're gonna sell puts, you're gonna either have to sell puts at a higher strike price, or you're gonna to have to accept a lower premium. So in my opinion, the smart play for these stocks or these options for today was just not do anything, see what the market does tomorrow, especially with a very big green day like today. Maybe the market will sort of correct itself and have a red day or not be as green tomorrow and maybe some of these stock values will go down. So that's what I was looking for. So I'll keep an eye on AMD and space to see if they decrease in price tomorrow. I mean, I would love AMD to be in the 51, $52 range. 
because then I can sell those $48, $49 strike cash secured puts and get good premium. And then, like I said, if I get assigned, it's not the big, it's not the end of the world because they're, in my opinion, good values for the stock. If I was to sell a cash secured put today at $54.59, then I would probably end up picking a strike price of $51. Maybe 52 if I'm feeling risky, but probably 51. And so I would collect $27 in premium. And the return on the risk just wasn't great because it's $27 of premium divided by a collateral of $5,100. And that's about a 0.5% return on risk. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But like I said, there was such a big green day today that I'm expecting in the next couple of days the market to pull back a little bit, kind of get back to earth. So I don't want to test my strike price because there's only a three dollar buffer between what it's trading at now and my strike if i were to sell that cash secured put so let's let's let the market come back to you know earth and let the options premiums kind of go back up and that way i can pick a lower strike value so i'm going to hold off until at least the end of the day tomorrow to see what the market does if i want to make some additional plays this week but honestly, if I don't make any other plays for the whole week, I'm very happy with my gains today. And if they're my weekly gains for this week, I'm cool with that. So just take a look at the quick um, Fibonacci patterns. The other thing that scares me a little bit about AMD is that you can see it's been hovering between these two Fibonacci levels, which are roughly $51 and let's say $55. So right now it's trading at the top limit or the ceiling, if you will, or the resistance of that Fibonacci level. So like I said, chances are AMD is going to bounce between this kind of light blue area for a while, unless it decides to break out either high above $55 or low below $51. So that's another reason why I want to get in at a $49, $48 strike price for my cash secured puts, because that value of $49, $48, that's below this theoretical basement or support level. So chances are AMD is not going to dip above 51, or I should say it's not going to fall below 51 easily. So that's how I use these Fibonacci levels. And that's another reason why I said, you know what, let me hold off. Let's let AMD drop in value a little bit. That way I can get a cash secured put at a level below the, this theoretical support level. And same thing with space. Another thing that concerned me about space is, as you can see, it's now trading in this bottom Fibonacci level. So until space breaks above, let's say 1688 or the high 16s, be careful with space because it could trade anywhere in this region if you believe in or if you trust these Fibonacci retracements. So I tried to see if I could get another $8.50 cash secured put on space. Like I did last Friday, but unfortunately, no one was willing to buy any. But trust me, I looked because, like I said, in my opinion, that's easy money right now. And if people want to buy some more contracts from me, I'm more than happy to sell them to them for a very quick 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 return on my risk. Very happy to do so. And lastly, let's take a look at the chart for IWM. So, because IWM skyrocketed now, it blasted above this theoretical ceiling that was there last week of let's say $129. So now IWM should trade between let's say 129 and 137. It should trade in this dark green area. However, to be extra certain of that, I want to see what IWM does tomorrow because this was the first day that it broke above 129, this theoretical ceiling. So I want to get confirmation tomorrow. So if IWM closes, let's say above 129 tomorrow, then that tells me that it's highly likely now that IWM is going to trade in this dark green area. So again, if I believe in that and I trust that, then I want to sell cash secured puts below a strike price of 129. So I looked at IWM today. Actually, the premiums were very good. And I would have sold a weekly cash secured put expiring this Friday. However, I have to wait because I, since I sold my shares of IWM this morning, I have to wait a couple of days for my cash to settle before I can use it again for options. So I didn't have any ammo per se right now to invest in IWM because the stock price is too expensive 
I could have gotten one or two contracts of AMD, but again, as I described before, I just wasn't happy with the, the setup of AMD today. So hopefully tomorrow my cash would settle, but I think definitely if it doesn't settle by tomorrow, my cash should settle by Wednesday. So I'll keep an eye on that. And once my cash settles, hopefully tomorrow or hopefully by Wednesday, I'll probably look into getting into an IWM option expiring this Friday, just again to make some quick profit. And I'm gonna sell a far out of the money cash secured put. But looking at the options already today, if we take a look at IWM and its options chain, the premiums were pretty good and I could get in at a lower strike than I was in last week. So I was actually looking at the low 120s. So if you look at the $122 strike price, you have an 89% chance of profit and you're collecting $49 of premium. And the return on the risk was pretty good. So $49 divided by 12,200 in capital times 100 to make it a percentage, that's a 0.4% return on my risk. This has kind of been my unofficial baseline of return on risk that I want. I don't want to make a trade unless I'm getting at least a 0.4 return on my risk. Now, I don't chase the numbers, but I have kind of told myself that anything below 0.4% is essentially not worth my time or not worth my money. So I try to look for trades that are giving me at least a 0.4 return on my risk. And again, that's just the personal number. You may have a higher risk tolerance, you may have a lower risk tolerance, and that's perfectly fine. But this is just kind of a gauge I use when I decide what trades I wanna make. But again, I probably would have bought, I should say I probably would have sold this 122 strike put if I had the cash. But let's see what the market does tomorrow or Wednesday whenever my cash settles so I can reinvest it. But yeah, all in all, I had a great day. It's a start to another hopefully great week. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know if you had any trades going on and how you did. Like I said, the market was green all day today. So if you were selling covered calls, you probably profited. If you had some cash secured puts, the stock market moved in your favor. Let me know. And as always, happy trading.